Um, also, so I don't know if you are aware, Ron DeSantis uh, was mad that Disney is um, not homophobic and transphobic. So he decided to destroy the uh, Ready Creek Improvement District, which is sort of Disney's self-governing city inside of their park. And they're their own tax structure and everything. So he decided, he's like, hey, I'm going to take that away from you and you guys can't do whatever you want anymore. And Disney's like, that's a dumb idea because you're going to be shoveling like a billion dollars in tax burden and, and bonds onto the citizens of Orange County, Florida. And Ron Tan's like, screw you, Disney, you woke bastards. And then, um, uh, and then they just took it over, only to discover that Disney's board of directors for the Ready Creek Improvement District had, at a public meeting, discussed and voted on a change of language in the uh, rights to the property that basically gives Disney the ability to do whatever they want, and Florida can't say anything. Uh, until the last descendant of King Charles III dies. So 21 years after the last descendant of King Charles III dies, uh, which is hilarious. <laughs> so Ron DeSantis has taken on the tax burden and still is not allowed to tell Disney what to do. Um, just absolutely beautiful, hilarious, suck it. Kenny's little gopher. Uh, I love it. Michael O'Hara, how about sell a shirt that says suck at DeSantis in your store? <laughs> Maybe with, with like Mickey Mouse smoking a cigar. <laughs> Eric, until I missed why Disney destroyed Big Ron. So Ron DeSantis passed the Don't Say Gay Bill, which basically is just destroying public schooling across all of Florida from the elementary level through the uh, colleges. Uh, graduating from Florida is going to result in having to like go to school again just to actually learn things from K to 12. Um, so Disney was like, yeah, we don't like that very much. We are going to say that what you're doing is wrong. And Ron DeSantis is like, how dare you, Disney? You know, your special, your special uh, uh, district that you have for Disney World. Well... You don't have control over it anymore. We're going to take it over. Disney's like, that's a dumb idea because we have billions of dollars in bonds that we're responsible for. And if you take this over, you're now responsible for it. And the tax base is going to have to pay billions of dollars. This is a really dumb idea. And Sam's like, screw you, Disney. We're doing it anyway. So then Disney was like, all right, have it your way. And they made it so that, yes, Florida is going to take on the responsibility of the Ready Creek District. And, um, but Disney has all the power, <laughs> meaning Disney can do whatever they want and not have to pay taxes, not have to worry about zoning or building codes, not have to like submit things to design for design. They can just mow down trees and build wherever they want. And, uh, Florida taxpayers have to pay for it. So Disney before was paying for the, you know, water treatment, sewage, road maintenance, fire stations, the whole works, schools. And now Florida has to pay for all that stuff and um, they don't get to tell Disney what to do. So D D Disney has the benefit of having control of the entire district without having any of the financial responsibility because DeSantis was too dumb to uh, make sure they didn't do that. <laughs> so, uh, well, Disney pulled one over. Eric, until Ron's doing the right thing. No, he's not. Ron Ron is, is Ken Griffin's lap dog and he's all he's doing is like really fascist crap and he does it really badly. BOH control shift N will highlight everything between your cursor and the end of the document. Okay. Control shift N noted. I just click right click and do that. Mount St. Funk, Ron DeSantis. Oh boy. Uh, a friend of mine had dinner with him at a business function recently and new Florida business owners. He's a bit strange from what I'm told. Yeah. He's one of those guys that like, demands respect but never earns it you know what i mean like i had baseball coaches and stuff growing up they're like you will listen to me and you're like uh oh, but you don't have anything to say um and like i demand respect like okay well do something to earn it maybe because like 
just being scared of you isn't really respect. Fear and respect are not the same thing. Uh, and I think Ron has a hard time with that. And then you find out that Ron DeSantis was like the lawyer who allowed all the waterboarding to happen of, of detainees. And you're like, oh, he's that guy. Huh. Okay. And was like there for the torture of lots of de- detainees over time. And some of whom were detainees who were later found to be like innocent or picked up wrong because I have you guys heard. Uh, they basically said everyone with a Casio watch in Afghanistan was obviously a member of Al Qaeda, which just happens to be the only watch people could afford to buy in a place like Afghanistan. So if you had a Casio watch on, they would arrest you and send you to Guantanamo as if you were a member of Al Qaeda or the Taliban or whatever. And it was just oftentimes just some random dude trying to live his life and grow, you know, fruit and harvest wheat and have some goats. And they're like, Oh, Al Qaeda. And it's the same type of watch Al Qaeda guys have. And then they just ship them off to Guantanamo where Ron DeSantis as a JAG officer would give the okay to waterboard information out of them. And, uh, just does not seem like a good dude. I mean, bond paid for by Ken Griffin. I don't care what your politics are. If you're right or left, anyone who's bought and paid for by Ken Griffin should be suspect. Ben Simmons, he was spot on with Disney vaccines, but Florida has among the highest death rates in the entire country when it came to COVID. So he wasn't spot on. And then he spent all of his time having those really crappy uh, publicly funded monoclonal antibody clinics that people couldn't get into. And then they were dying in line. Um, And then the monoclonal antibodies didn't work when a new variant appeared. So it became completely useless. uh, And then people died. So no, he wasn't right about vaccines. And uh, so far he's been pretty wrong about Disney because Disney is absolutely handing his ass to him. 